environment is the elephant in the room during COVID because the entire economies of the world can shut down for a virus that's affecting humans. But we can't seem to shut anything down when it's affecting the planet, which will ultimately of course affect humans too. We've developed an absolute love affair with chemicals and we think that we can solve all problems with a good dose of chemical. Although South Africa has excellent environmental laws, getting them enforced is not easy. What we're dealing with is, is quite a significant problem of science. How do we get science believed? How do we get science acknowledged? And how do we get science done properly? In our discussions, we realize what we're needing is to translate pre-existing information or contemporary information into art. And my work is a direct response to your, your research. So we face a, what I call an interlocking problem of disastrous proportions. According to the Department of Water and Sanitation, 52% of South Africa's water supply systems are in the medium to critical groups. 60% don't comply with microbiological standards and 77% don't comply with chemical standards. The reason why we worry about these emerging contaminants is first of all, they cause feminization. And you must realize if it's happening to smaller organisms, it will eventually happen to bigger organisms. We began uh, talking around different environmental issues and began focusing our attention on water specifically. It takes all kinds of bravery from the most unexpected quarters. There's many um, accidental activists, to borrow Carolyn's phrase, um, that, that, are, that are taking this issue forward. Out of 104 countries that we tested, we're sitting in the 70th to 80th percentile of most polluted. As we saw during the drought, there was this great social will to do something about the situation. Once this hard environmental line was there, we knew the water was going to go off, we weren't going to be able to flush our toilets, we were going to be drowned on ship. People acted. What are the questions that you are sitting with? What what has all of this provoked in you? It's not a problem that we can leave to government to solve. We've got to do it together. So that's our challenge.